Choral Evensong is sung today by the choir of Hempstead Parish Church, London, under the direction of their organist and choir master, Martindale Sidwell. The canticles are sung to Stanford in A, and the anthem is Sing Joyfully by John Mundy. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. O God, our Father, we have sinned against thee in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved thee with all our heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Have mercy upon us, we beseech thee. Cleanse us from our sins, and help us to overcome our faults. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and Merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins, time for amendment of life, 
and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, open thou our lips. And God makes speed to save us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost. month, Psalm 18.
book of Job. The 33rd chapter and the 23rd verse. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter, one among a thousand, to show unto man his uprightness, then he is gracious unto him and saith, Deliver him from going down to the pit. I have found a ransom. His flesh shall be fresher than a child's. He shall return to the days of his youth. He shall pray unto God, and he will be favorable unto him. And he shall see his face with joy, for he will render unto man his righteousness. He looketh upon men, and if any say, I have sinned, and perverted that which was right, and it profited me not, he will deliver his soul from going down into the pit, and his life shall see the light. Lo, all these things worketh God oftentimes with man, to bring back his soul from the pit, to be enlightened with the light of the living. Mark well, O Job, hearken unto me, hold thy peace, and I will speak. If thou hast anything to say, answer me. Speak, for I desire to justify thee. If not, hearken unto me. Hold thy peace, and I shall teach thee wisdom. Here endeth the first lesson. <laughs>
the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the ninth chapter, beginning at the 30th verse. And they departed thence and passed through Galilee, and he would not that any man should know it, for he taught his disciples and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. But they understood not that saying, and were afraid to ask him. And he came to Capernaum, and being in the house, he asked them, What was it that ye disputed among yourselves by the way? But they held their peace, for by the way they had disputed among themselves who should be the greatest. And he sat down and called the twelve, and saith unto them, if any man desire to be first, the same shall be last of all and servant of all. And he took a child and set him in the midst of them. And when he had taken him in his arms, he said unto them, Whosoever shall receive one of such children in my name, receiveth me. And whosoever shall receive me, receiveth not me but him that sent me. Here endeth the second lesson.
God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. with righteousness. to help and govern them whom thou dost bring up in thy steadfast fear and love. Keep us, we beseech thee, under the protection of thy good providence, and make us to have a perpetual fear and love of thy holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Ghost, one God, world without end. God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. 
Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ.
Let us pray. Let us pray for the healing of the world's divisions and sorrows. Eternal God, the Father of all mankind, we commit to thee the needs of the whole world. Where there is hatred, give love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is distrust, faith. Where there is sorrow, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And let us pray for all those who are ill, whether at home or in hospital, and pray that our blessed Lord may stretch his healing hands over them. We commend to thy fatherly goodness, O Lord, all those who are any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate, that it may please thee to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ, his sake. Amen. Mm, the Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be Song was sung today by the choir of Hampstead Parish Church, London. <laughs>